Hi, just a short um, podcast on my new website, which is uh, mlvcoaching.com. Um, I'm Matt Lee Vidal. I just wanted to speak about becoming successful and achieving. Um, life isn't, as uh, Stallone said, life isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It will beat you until you're on your knees and then beat you some more. Um, And it's not about how hard you can be or how hard you can um, outlive it. It's how hard you can survive it and then come back even bigger and stronger. Learn from your faults and learn from your development and what you've been and what you've been through. Um, I spent 15 years in retail, in sorry, in corporate, and I spent another 10 years pre that um, in retail. Um, and all of the time, they haven't been one of some of my greatest achievements. It's been a, it's sometimes an uphill struggle, but the majority of the time, it's been a um, very influential asset to me to understand and who I am alongside working in corporate especially the last 10 years of corporate um working in um us in um uh audio visuals and in it and things of that nature and also logistics they're the three um components or areas of business i was in and um i wasn't necessarily happy but i met some good people for it but what I found was that whilst I was developing, I done coaching on the side and I learned to develop me. And then once I learned to develop me, I learned to develop others. And when I work on a day to day basis with people now, um, I implement some of the things I've learned. You don't necessarily learn about life coaching and learn about um, um I suppose body language. Every there isn't a set scenario. Things shift. So, if I've learned how someone is in a certain way, and how they display, suppose they're very closed. I don't just say, oh, "Okay, well, they they're closed, and therefore you do certain techniques." You you learn to adapt your technique to your way of thinking, not necessarily what the teacher has taught you. Um, that's the important part of development, I feel. And he spends hours and hours and days and days and months and months. Um, yeah, I'm proud. I can tell when I say I'm a workaholic and I don't live to work. Um, I enjoy the job that I do do and it's not a necessity. It's 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 my hobby. I enjoy development. I enjoy researching stuff and I enjoy making life a bit more easier for myself and for people I work with um, or work for. Um, if I think, if I didn't try and say, I want to say stay on top of my game because that's not, um, I don't believe that I do work these long hours or study these long hours to be better than somebody else. I do these because I think I can develop people better if I have an understanding of how it affects me and why certain thinkers think certain ways or why I'm taught certain ways. I mean, for me, when I when I done life when I do life coaching, I've studied it, um, and I've done counselling. It's helped me to work with people and see how certain people are can. Some people fall into the remit of psychodynamics. Some people fall into the um, genre. Or personal centered, predominantly I work person personal person centered, but that's not always the case. A lot of the time, you have to switch up, and then you have to do gestalt. Um, but for me, it's all about understanding. As long as you do a couple key things, and that's one thing I've always been I've put forefront of whatever I do when I'm working, and that's understand who I am, understand what my goal is, and understand what my client's goal is. Without those, I just think I'm just you just gonna be spinning around in their circles. Um like you've got a grow model. Some people use a grow model, some people use smart. I mean grow is goal, reality, um um options and will. 
they're the three they're the 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 structure of it um smarty specific um measured uh, action reality and true i mean it depends which way you look at it everything works differently so when uh you want to develop a certain thing within your life you need to have your own port of call and uh, i said to a friend of mine that you can't um have the intention of get fit and losing weight and then go to the gym and then you do one session and then you've lost i don't know six i don't know six stone it just doesn't happen it takes weeks of planning going to the gym yeah that's fine you realize you you want to tone up but it's a you, you might have to just do cardio for a while you know i learned i'll go to the gym pumping the weights but i realized that i need to do cardio first to burn the fat when you burn the fat then you can start doing light weights still and then with that you have to cut out certain things um and cardio um, and that's cut out your carbohydrates and cut out sugar or reduce it and then it the impact changes, and when you get to a, a certain part of it, you turn and you realise that it helps you to motivate you moving forward. I mean, I was fortunate to lose um, just under two stone now, probably in two months now. Um, but I've done a stone and a bit in just under four weeks. Um, but I was blessed to have a great support network. My partner is really supportive. Um, sometimes overly supportive, <laughs> but, but yeah, at the end of the day, you know, nothing happens without, without drive and, and focus. I mean, people think I'm strange. I get to the gym at sometimes four or five o'clock in the morning. Um, after the gym, I go to my car, meditate for 20 minutes and then I head to work and I'm work for like half seven, eight. And people are walking in like all like starry eyed. <laughs> so I'm like burning and and I'm on it. Um if I don't go gym in the morning, I'm a miserable shit. I tell you, I'm a miserable bugger. But that's just me. That's just me. You can go gym in the in the after in the after work, yeah. Tell you, or lunchtime. Personally I don't like to rush. I like to just take my time and I don't like people trying to control what I do. And it's that's just how I work. So so to wrap up, basically, which my pods are never um, the time I always say they're always longer than what they are in it. Um, so, <laughs> so basically, is spend time finding focus upon what you want to do, um, make it reality of what you want to do is achievable. Set milestones where you want to get to, and then develop yourself um mentally um more than anything else um and don't look at especially if you want to change the way you are change it as a lifestyle change and opposed to as a diet because for me diets don't work um you need to change the lifestyle and break it down like um uh like when i was young i was working with this sculpture doing this piece for this um uh well will establish new build in East London and the sculpture is he said to me I goes you know what this the sculpture should look like and he said to me not necessarily I've got a rough idea but as you keep chipping away at the sculpture it takes on a different form it takes on a life of its own no piece I've done is any different and I still remember that when he said that and I always use that in my coaching when I work with someone I said you may have a goal where you want to get to but you probably find you may be going around different routes um to get to where you're going to get to but um either way as long as you achieve what you want to want to do I mean development's amazing so yeah that's me and I just thought I'll sign off and I wish you all the best and god bless and stay blessed and um I'll see you soon again um Click like below and also check out my new coaching website, which is mlvcoaching.com. Stay blessed and true.